What is the stupidest fact you know? If you yelled for eight years, seven months and six days you would have produced enough sound energy to heat one cup of coffee. My mom once told me that there were more feral giraffes in Australia than anywhere on earth. I knew that what she meant to say was wild camels, a small but important distinction. We both fell about laughing at the idea of feral giraffes when she realized her mistake. The term uppercase and lowercase came from a time where you could easily get physical letters. They were put into cases. The more commonly used letters were put in the easy to reach, accessible lowercase. The less commonly used letters were in the uppercase. I have a similar thing with a certain number. Actually, two years ago, a friend of mine had the school bus number 941. Ever since then, even two years later, that number comes up everywhere. When I check my watch, there is a solid 50% chance it will be 941, no matter what. Anytime there's a random number involved, or as part of a phone number, there's a good chance it will be 941. My parents don't believe me but I swear, that number follows me everywhere. When I was pregnant in 2006 throughout my pregnancy I'd notice I'd always look at the clock when it was 9-11. I kept seeing that combination of numbers. When my daughter was born she was born August 9, 2006 at 9-11 p.m. When they called the time I turned to my husband and said I told you nothing exactly, but he thought I was crazy with the numbers. The astronaut launched into space without being strapped in because he and Buck held himself to sleep and was surprised by the launch. Can't remember who it was, but it was on a pre-Challenger shuttle mission, after they switched to the idiotic numbering system. That might make some people feel bad for them, but it look seems really convenient. The top comment at the moment says penguins have the strongest shitting force, relatively, and can launch poop four feet away from them. Imagine never having to sit and wait 20 plus minutes for a shed to finish or having to reorient yourself if you start peeing but then have to sit to shit. You just sit, there's an explosion beneath you, and you're done in seconds. Teach your children proper pronunciation. Say no to drugs, but you can't say no to drugs because they don't have ears. Unless you're on mushrooms, which aren't a drug. So what are you really doing anymore? In Finland, when you graduate from university, you are given a sword and top hat. Whale penises are 9 feet long. You can poop out your colon. The Soviet Union was larger than three continents two oceans and a planet. Fish can cough. I know way too many, that's just a start. Let's talk about Twombat butts. Everybody knows they shit bricks, literally cubes. They do so to be able to stack them on uneven surfaces without them rolling away. They then act as a territory marker and to attract possible mates. They also have armored butts, like bone plates in their butt and very little nerve endings. What they do with this is, that they dive face first into their underground tunnel and use their armored butts to block it. Even if they get bitten or scratched, they don't feel it. They basically use their asses to save those of their young. Dolphins when jumping out of the water already change their course where they want to swim in the air just before diving back into the water. I recently had math exams and we had to mathematically prove where dolphins change their course based on a function. Disney Florida has only used approximately 7,000 acres of land for theme parks out of approximately 33,000 acres purchased. I believe they still are acquiring land. Walt originally was looking more in the West Palm Beach area before deciding on the Orlando area. The first acre cost about $100.00 while the last acre out of the original 33k cost 100k. I collect stupid, fun facts. Here are what I've amassed so far. I started a new list with ones I found on this post. The average number of skeletons inside the human skeleton is more than one. If you have both arms, 
you have more than average. Our eyeballs are covered in skin, clear skin cells called corneal epithelium. Breech birth babies briefly wear their mothers as a hat. Male anglerfish basically melt into females, leaving only testicles. So right now there is probably at least one female angler swimming around covered in testicles. Everyone once lived inside of their maternal grandmother. The eggs that produced you was inside your mother while she was inside her mother. To the best of our knowledge, Mars is the only planet entirely inhabited by robots. Armpit odor is bacteria farts. We are always three minutes away from death due to lack of oxygen. Every breath we take resets the clock. Since a platypus produces both eggs and milk, it could technically make custard from itself. You can't truly describe color to a blind person. Upon reading this, your blinking, breathing, and swallowing will switch from autonomic reflex to manual. Once you stop paying attention, it will resume autonomic mode. Male mast pufferfish build sand nests that are held together with their gentlemanly secretions. If a 99-pound person consumes one pound of cheese, they can temporarily claim to be 1% cheese. We are closer in time to 2050 than 1990. People who have had limb amputations are partially cremated. Most vanilla flavoring comes from the anal glands of beavers. You never actually touch anything. There is always a micron of space in between. Your skin is your largest organ. Completely removed, an average-sized person's skin would cover a queen-size bed. The human vagina is acidic enough to bleach some dyes from some fabrics. This is a good thing, as vaginas are self-cleaning. Chainsaws were invented for childbirth. Butt plugs were invented to relieve migraines. During an earthquake, coffins become underground mercus. Sea turtles can breathe through their bottles. The smell of vomit comes from butyracast, which is the same thing that gives parmesan cheese its smell. When given a sample, test subjects were disgusted or pleased, depending on whether they were told it was vomit or parmesan. Ants and spiders can take fall damage because terminal velocity isn't great enough to break their exoskeletons. Ants use tools. Ants regulate the temperature of their hive by placing light or dark colored pebbles on the outside of it to reflect or absorb sunlight. Some species of ants keep livestock, and others grow crops. Some species of ants have toilet rooms. Some species of ants are apex predators. Some species of ants keep other species of ants as servants. Some species of ants gorge themselves, then hang upside down. The others keep feeding them until their abdomens are translucent. When food sources are scarce, the other ants feed on them, but it doesn't kill them. Some species of ants explode when attacked. There is a moment during cremation when some of the meat is perfectly cooked. Goats apparently have the most human-like vaginas of any other animal. The skin on your lips is the same as the skin on your anus. The skin on the inside of your cheek is the same as the skin inside a vagina. You just tongue the inside of your cheek. Oxford University is older than the Aztec Empire. Blood can be substituted for eggs in baking dishes. Stewardesses is the longest word in the English language to be typed with only the left hand. The average person will walk past 16 murderers in their lifetime. Mozart composed a piece of music that is debated on whether he is talking about having someone kiss his ass or lick it. Sharks predate trees. Dust is mostly made up of dead skin cells. Oxygen is the reason things age and deteriorate but a lack of oxygen would kill these same things. It's impossible to hum with your nose and mouth closed. Cats are classified as big cats or small cats based on their hyoid bone. Big cats have a flexible hyoid bone, allowing them to roar, and small cats have an ossified hyoid bone, allowing them to purr. Technically, cheetahs and pumas are small cats. Your nipples are older than your teeth. Your butthole is older than your nipples. Moose can dive as deep as 20 feet for aquatic vegetation. Almost every hand you've ever touched has held a penis. Wombat poop is cube-shaped, 
Scotland's national animal is the unicorn. Wales' national animal is the Welsh dragon. Bananas are berries. Strawberries aren't. Tigers have striped skin. If you lie down with your head on the belly of someone who is also lying down, and they laugh, you laugh. 2. T. Rexes existed closer in history to humans than to stegosauruses. The one place naked mole rats have hair inside their mouths. Your bones are wet. There's a poem from Latin author Caciolo, whose title, translated, is I'll put that in your ass and your mouth. It is also its first and last line. Apparently he wrote it for two envy friends who were spreading rumors about him and criticizing his poems. The Latin title is Pedicabo Ego Voe Rumabo. I don't understand how people can say Latin is boring. The word vanilla means vagina and was named such because of its resemblance to a vagina in appearance and scent. Also hawthorn tree flowers are said to smell like a vagina or dot 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 get this dot 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 a dead animal to attract pollinators. Ed that hawthorn also typically grow in a trine with maple and dash trees. I was bored and decided to do this to myself. I closed my eyes and looked up and pretended there were geese flying back and forth. I convinced myself to just watch the birdies flying back and forth, and then told myself I couldn't open my eyes. Did I try to open my eyes? Yes. Did it work? Number. Did I panic and then internally yell? You can open your eyes? Yes. Overall, I have scared myself and I am going to do this more often. It's quite fascinating. Hypnotists use that trick to make you believe you are under hypnosis. They tell you to imagine a bird flying in the sky and to follow it with your eyes closed. Then without breaking sight of the bird you now realize you lost the ability to open your eyes. Then once they established a false sense of control with the client they then can convince them of other things. It's all a game of making you believe someone has power over you. Edit, for the people having trouble with the I thing. Try not moving your face up, only your eyes. It's either that or your eyes are just different tide. Koalas eat eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is poisonous, even for koalas it is, therefore they have poisoned their whole lives. This result in them sleeping about 20 hours a day. Sloths only sleep 16 hours a day. When they are awake they are very lethargic and do not move a lot. Even their sex life is influenced by them being poisoned constantly. Scientists to this day are not sure if the male or the female koalas show the courtship behavior since both of them seem less energetic than the other. In 1972 a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground today. Still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help and if you can find them maybe you can hire the A-team. In January 2007, to promote the Aqua Teen Hunger Force movie, various lead displays were set up around Boston. The police mistook them for rides and called in the bomb squad. For the record, this is what the displays look like, and these are characters from the show. I chalk it up to a bureau for hungering. Tony Hawk's Underground 1 had the wall plant, and Tony Hawk's Underground 2 replaced it with a sticker slap. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland has both and you can do them back to back in a wall plant to stick or slap combo if you chain them together with a manual. Spoken by a character named Useless Dave whose entire purpose is to tell you almost useless facts. I can confirm seeing the color without a lens. Had I trauma when I was a kid and had my lens removed in my left eye, my left eye sees certain purples differently. It's actually the most noticeable with backlights. Which makes sense because the UV light isn't blocked in that eye. So my right eye sees normal and my left eye sees a very vivid almost neon purple when looking at a black light. Going into a Spencer's gifts or certain nightclubs is a nightmare and makes my eyes water because the light is so bright. Can pick out a black light from a half mile away. It's super distracting. This is a myth. First off. 
Tetrich tall mats cannot see extra colors, it is more like being able to distinguish between shades more easily. Secondly, functional tetrachrome mats are actually quite rare, while about 12% of women could have an extra type of cone, in most cases it doesn't work. The actual rate of functional tetrachrome mats is less than 1%. Thirdly, while they are more common among women, some men are tetrachrome mats as well. Fourth, the extra purple is unrelated to tetrachrome mats. It is actually UV light blocked by the lens of the eye. People who have had their lenses removed, typically to treat cataracts, can thus see it. Not only that but there were giant prehistoric sloths that ate avocados whole. The avocado tree went extinct during the last ice age, but the huge seeds were preserved in petrified piles of huge sloth dumps and began to grow again when the piles thawed. The only reason we have avocados is because huge sloths took huge dumps that insulated the extinct avocado tree's seeds for future generations. Your side of guac at Chipotle is only available because of prehistoric sloth dung. <laughs> Stefan J. Gould agrees that it's hard to be a kid. My six-year-old brother once told Stefan J. Gould that he was itchy. He interrupted Gould's lecture in front of one hundreds of people to say this. Gould stopped his lecture to agree with him that it was hard to be a kid. If there is a more pointless stupid fact, I don't know if there is one. Regardless, I can go to my grave knowing that Stefan J. Gould knew that it's hard to be a kid. My brother has a doctorate in history now and teaches Altiste. He has no recollection of the incident and doesn't really care who Stefan J. Gould was. But, once, my brother was itchy. I guess that's two facts. If you look at red for a while, then look at a very blue blue, you can see a blue that is more blue than the bluest blue. This is called hyperbolic blue and it's caused by your brain adapting to the red color then overcorrecting before it can readapt to seeing blue. This isn't useful but it's a thing. Also magenta and brown aren't real. You ever notice mice have no shoulders at all? You give a mouse a necklace. It goes right down to his waist. They think it's a belt. What do they know? They're fucking mice. Edit. This isn't me. It was the inimitable George Carlin, who has been my hero for 25 years. Edit made so I'm not plagiarizing material everyone should have heard by now if they are fans of comedy at all. <laughs> Apparently. One of if not the only predator of the moose is an orca. Their sheer size makes little land animals hunt it at all. But they're good swimmers and when they swim through the Canadian coastlines, orcas will attack them. Search it up. It's one of the first results when searched. Edit. I worded this comment very poorly. I was trying to say that. Yes there are natural land predators to the moose but not a gigantic amount and that the orca of all things is one of the only marine predators to the moose. Moose also swim way a faster than you'd expect. My dad and I were in Isle Royale years ago when we saw a couple swimming across the lake when we were in our canoe. We paddled closer to get a better look and the mama moose turned towards us and came after us. She had a baby with her. We didn't get closer than 30 yards on our own. When she turned towards us, we paddled away and realized she was gaining. So we paddled faster. She kept gaining. Thank God she lost interest or was just satisfied in the result. Because we were not going to get away if she wanted to get us crazy. The word font is almost always used incorrectly. If you are picking out the style of letters you want to use what you are selecting is a typeface not a font. The font is the container that holds the typeface. So for instance if we were doing a print job back in the movable type days and wanted to do it in gothic you might tell your assistant go get the gothic font. What that means though is go get me the drawer that contains the gothic typeface the word font refers to the drawer not the contents. When they started making word processors on computers with multiple typeface options they retained the old printer's jargon but didn't explain it. When you select a gothic font in Ms. Word what you are selecting is a file folder which contains the gothic typeface. Font refers to the file folder, not the contents. 
In France we say merde, literally shit in English, to say good luck, because saying good luck is seen as a bad luck. It comes from the Middle Ages when people traveled in horse carts, when there was a lot of shit in front of theaters it meant the play had a lot of success.